What's going on, gang? It's your boy Serato, and welcome back to Full Custom. On today's episode, we're painting the craziest slides you're gonna see. That's because they are gear five slides. Yes, that's right, gear five. So go ahead, let's hop into it. Make sure y'all let me know in the comments down below. We can talk about it, chat about it, and I will see you guys at the end. So we've already prepped, masked, laid down the base coat, and done the line work. I did all this on a specialty live for my donor, so if you guys want to join that club, check out the QR code on screen right now. So since most of the complicated nonsense is already done and all of our stencils are already on the, on the slide here, all we got to do is go ahead and start with our light tones, get into our flesh tones, darker shadow tones, mid tones, all that good stuff, get the portrait done, and then we're going to move on to our airbrush section. So I'm just going to let you guys watch and uh, chill out. Now painting the face in is always my favorite part of a portrait piece as it, you know, it just brings everything right to life. And even though we skipped the part where we kind of laid everything out, don't get me wrong, that is the very important part of the process as well. I try to think, you know, in layers as I go about these things, um, what's going to bring the foreground out, what's going to bring the background out, what's going to make the words stand out, but also make the characters stand out. It's all very involved. Good morning. Good morning. Now it's time to go in with the airbrush and just make sure all of the text pops, all lightning pops, you know, everything just looks really electric. Now I'm gonna start popping some of these preliminary stencils off and just making sure this stuff gets blended really well into the shoe and then grabbing my pen and starting to do my secondary line work. This is gonna make sure Luffy stands out and is nice and crisp on top of the paint layer. Now it's time to rip the masking tape off and fix up any blemishes on the slides. I also chose to black out the toes here because I thought that brown sticking out between your socks was a little weird, but y'all let me know if you like that or if you would have left it alone on yours. All right, so now you can see we're done. And uh, these took a while. So let's go ahead and hop outside and uh, take a look.
Well, that's it for me on this one. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. You can give me a big old like and a thumbs up for me. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, of course, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell for me so you can see more of these full customs coming up. The next one out is going to be some LeBron 20s. I'm not sure if we're going to do the Home Alone ones or if we're going to do the Thor ones. Maybe something else. I've been working on a bunch of stuff, so I got a lot coming for you. So stay tuned for the next video, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, these shoes will be available for purchase on my eBay account, uh, as well as artisanechelon.com, my website. So make sure you guys scan that QR code again for me and head to the website and you will see these shoes if you would like to purchase them or anything else that we have available. Uh, really helps to support the channel and help to keep this content coming to you guys. So uh, check me out.